So after the lexical analysis stays, uh, what we obtain, so it is my lexical analyzer and this is the input to the lexical analyzer is a high level program. Okay, the lexical analyzer reads that a program in a, as a text text file and tries to oh, bucketize or tries to categorize those text strings in terms of tokens, what we call as list of tokens. So we get as as output from the lexical analyzer is a list of tokens. Okay, now this list of tokens are then fed to what we call to the second stage of a compiler and that second stage is called syntax analyzer syntax checker okay or simply we call it a parser okay so the second stage of a compiler compiler is called as parser or a syntax checker what it does it tries to follow the grammars of a given language try to follow the rules of a rules of the grammar of a given language and create what we call create a data structure what we call as an abstract syntax tree or a parse tree we we have already learned in our automata theory class that given the grammars of a language and given a text string how to create a parse tree okay let me reiterate so my grammar is nothing but it is a four tuple of what is called as non terminals or uh, it's a set of non terminals set of terminals i have set of rules uh, i have set of productions or rules okay and what we call as the start starting non terminal okay and we try to and the abstract syntax tree is a tree data structure which uses these four things and the tree looks like this so the starting root node of the tree is the starting non terminal s okay all the intermediate nodes of the tree are from the termin non terminal set v okay and the leaf nodes are the terminals okay so in this way the syntax checker tries to tries to follow the rules of the grammar and create this kind of abstract syntax tree ast or a parse tree okay now while creating this uh, uh, creating this abstract syntax tree the syntax checker follows the association rules and uh, precedence rules to remove the ambiguity while creating an abstract syntax tree so the syntax checker also removes ambiguity by following so all these things we'll learn in detail in chapter 3 okay following the association and precedence rules for a simple example is suppose a plus b into c so the c language tells me that the operator into multiplication operator has higher precedence and hence b should be attached to into rather than plus okay so this way the language removes the ambiguity by creating the precedence rule and association rule and hence uh, the syntax tree is created following those rules okay now after we create an syntax tree the next step is called as so this is my syntax checker the input to the syntax checker is my list of tokens and the output is what we call as AST, abstract syntax tree or parse tree. 
Now this AST, the now the second stage is called as semantic checks, semantic checker. Okay, what do we mean by semantic checks? Now, so this phase of the compiler now tries to follow certain semantic rules of a, of the given language. Okay, for example, if I say that if so suppose without defining a variable if i use a variable so so one rule is uh, in c language a variable cannot be used if a variable is used before defined but it is not defined then it is a semantic error okay Syntactically, it is correct. Okay, a variable follows or using the production of the or the rules of the grammar. If I am using an identifier x is equal to five, then it is correct. The state it is a statement and it is correct. But if x is not defined, then it is semantically wrong. Okay. Okay. It is, but it is not defined. This implies it is a semantic error. Similarly, uh, suppose I have a function, okay, and the pro prototype of the uh, so the prototype declaration of the function is like int func1 and it takes another argument int, okay. But in the function body, if so int func1, okay. I am returning a character variable so char c and I am returning the character variable c then it's wrong okay so so either you, you have to typecast it compiler will not uh, automatically typecast this into int but it will flag a semantic error that okay the return type is int but you are returning a character type okay so all these are semantic checks okay so, so what we learned is lexical analyzer plus syntax checker plus semantic checker. These three things constitute what we call as front end of the compiler okay so in our compiler design course in chapter 2 we will learn how to design a lexical analyzer in chapter 3 we will be discussing about the syntax checker how to design a correct how to create a parse tree removing the ambiguity removing the all those things how to create symbol table then then in the semantic checker we'll deal with semantic checks how to create a symbol table how to create an object model to uh, and to store the types it is defined all those type checking okay and these three things constitute the front end of the compiler okay